Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, how are you doing? ¿Qué estoy haciendo? Uh, uh, <laughs> no sé, teacher. Uh, uh, it's all right. It's all right. Okay, now let's see. We're going to have a great time together today. <laughs> Is that right? Well, I have Nelson over here. I have a uh, Marco Antonio, Juan Antonio, Ada, a uh, Gisela. Uh, Ricardo seems to be like uh, getting into Dennis. All right. So I have like uh, nine people connected, eight people connected. And as far as I know, you are like 20, right? You are 20, 20 participants. All right. <laughs> How are you today? I mean, how are you? Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, Danny. Hello. Hey, nice to meet you. Hello, teacher. I'm fine, and you? Uh, uh, just fine. Hello, Marco. Good to see you here. Okay. Now, you know, we're going to start. Okay, uh, because I need to introduce myself and I need to tell you the way we're going to be working during the course. All right. Hello, Ricardo. Can you see you you there? You got connected finally, right? That's really good. And I mean, other, I wonder if you have any problem with your camera. Okay, I have. Uh, that over there and uh, now yes that's that's better that's better thank you Gisela and Dennis I don't know if you have problems with your camera just let me know it all right but it's quite important for me to see you right well I will start okay I will start and um, you know I have a presentation for you because I want I want to I want you to let um to know about the way we're going to be working uh, over here. So I have a presentation. I have a um, prepared presentation so that you can see a little about myself, OK, and the way we're going to be working over here. A uh, question, can you see the information? Yes, the chair. Yeah, you can, right? Yes. Yes. OK, good. Well, uh, I was. I will start by introducing myself, okay? And uh, and then little by little, you will tell me your names and then you will tell me the way you want to be um, addressed, all right? Uh, you know, my name is Enrique Ernesto Morales, okay? And I study English, okay? I, I took la, la licenciatura en idioma inglés, opción enseñanza, and... Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be over here, okay? It's, a, it's fantastic to meet you, and I'm really glad to meet you, okay? Um, now uh, I am a, your English teacher, and you know, there is something related to WhatsApp group, and the WhatsApp group is uh, was created uh, for me to share some information or some extra exercises or video related to a topic that we that we discuss in the course. Okay, you can ask questions or you can help each other there also, right? So the the purpose is to to get advantage of this of this group. Uh, I will switch into Spanish, okay, because this is quite important for me, and I think it's quite important for you also. Me voy a pasar un poquito al español para que dejemos claro cómo vamos a trabajar desde un inicio, ¿verdad? Lo más importante acá en este curso es su aprendizaje, es su crecimiento personal, ¿ok? Eh, aprender un segundo idioma, ustedes saben lo importante que es y las puertas que puede abrirnos en un futuro. Entonces, para mí es sumamente importante que ustedes obtengan un 80% en el promedio de sus tareas y evaluaciones. Okay, 
eh, para poder completar su curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas, como ustedes ya lo saben, se encuentran en la plataforma y es recomendable que ustedes trabajen en ellas justo después de cada clase. Sin embargo, también pueden adelantar en el contenido. ¿Cuál es el propósito? Si ustedes adelantan, eh, pueden, pueden generar conocimientos previos que, y familiarizarse con los temas que nosotros vamos a estar estudiando acá para que ya no les sorprenda, digamos, cierto vocabulario o ciertas pronunciaciones, porque si ustedes estudian que una que otra palabra, algo acerca del tema, entonces ya ustedes se van a sentir mmm, familiarizados con lo que nosotros vamos a estudiar. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. Esperamos que ustedes nos apoyen en eso, que, que traten la manera de que sus actividades sean completadas antes del día viernes para que se pueda generar el registro de las mismas con Insafor. El material de apoyo, pues como les decía anteriormente, tenemos un grupo de WhatsApp y yo tengo la libertad de poder compartir por ese medio algunos enlaces, algunos, algunas páginas que puedan reforzar algo que nosotros estamos estudiando. Okay. Eh, las tareas y las evaluaciones, las actividades en sí se desarrollan en cuatro semanas. En la primera semana tenemos que cubrir lo que es la sección 1, sección 2. Semana 2 tenemos la sección 3 y el midterm. En la semana 3 tenemos la sección 4. Y en la última semana tenemos la sección 5 y the final exam. Eh, vamos a hablar un poquito acerca de las normas de convivencia, ok, eh, para nuestras sesiones. Les solicito que por favor, si no están este, participando con su micrófono activamente, pues que lo dejemos en silencio para no interrumpir a alguien más que, que sí lo esté utilizando para participar de alguna actividad. Se les va a pasar una lista de asistencia. Eh, que es muy importante para nosotros, su asistencia es sumamente importante, que no se pierda en ninguna clase. Recordemos que solo son sesiones de una hora y pues en realidad necesitamos que ese tiempo sea aprovechado al máximo. Colocar en su, eh, en su cuenta de, de, de Zoom su nombre completo o por lo menos un nombre y un apellido para que yo pueda este, eh, reconocerles eh, cuando, cuando les pida de su apoyo. La cámara la tratemos de tenerla encendida en todo momento. Es importante para mí ver eh, sus expresiones faciales cuando, cuando no, hay diferentes maneras de comunicarse y una de ellas es el body, body language, el, el, el lenguaje corporal. Cuando yo observo que ustedes están en casa si bien tienen su micrófono apagado, pero yo puedo ver que ustedes están practicando este, de alguna manera, ¿verdad? Necesito que su participación sea activa, ¿ok? Que no desaprovechen ninguna oportunidad para participar, ¿ok? Siempre y cuando lo quieran hacer, ¿ok? Tienen la libertad de, de levantar su mano y, y participar activamente. El uso de chats también está permitido, ¿ok? Eh, tratemos de concentrarnos 100% en la clase y comentar o preguntar relacionado al tema que, es, que se está viendo. Eh, tienen la opción de levantar su mano y participar en el momento que ustedes lo consideren pertinente y vamos a tratar siempre, en todo momento, respetarnos unos con otros. ¿Verdad? Yo creo que aprender un segundo idioma eh, Necesita del apoyo de todos, ¿verdad? Necesita que nos, que nos mantengamos siempre en un ambiente de respeto y que siempre nos apoyemos, ¿verdad? Siempre, aunque alguien cometa algún error, eso no significa que alguien no es bueno aprendiendo inglés. Es al contrario, esa persona está tratando de mejorar. Y siempre que estemos practicando, eso va a estar bien. Eso va a estar bien, porque la práctica hace al maestro. Necesito que, por favor, su asistencia sea de por lo menos un 
Ok, de las clases. Eh, el avance y el desarrollo de la plataforma de aprendizaje, como ya se los mencioné anteriormente, ustedes pueden avanzar si así lo desean y si tienen el tiempo necesario para poder eh, adelantar en algo. Hoy iniciamos nuestra primera sesión y los horarios, como ya ustedes lo saben, son de lunes a jueves de 9 a 10 de la noche. Eh, se nos hace el llamado nuevamente a tener nuestra cámara encendida y recordemos que nuestras sesiones son de 60 minutos. Y este, por supuesto, hacer su mejor esfuerzo para obtener su diploma. Tendremos actividades de listening o de escucha, eh, actividades de eh, habla, eh, de lectura y de escritura. Y también tendremos actividades individuales en pareja y en grupo. Así que pues traté de hacer esta presentación lo más corto posible porque queremos aprovechar el tiempo y empezar a trabajar en lo que nos compete. Aprender un segundo idioma. Welcome to your English course. All right, so that's, that's it. Um, well, Now that you know me, I have like 18 people over here. So when I ask you to participate in the class, so then you introduce yourself and say, hello, my name is Nelson, please call me Nelson, all right? Hello, my name is Enrique, you can call me Kike or you can call me Teacher Kike. Pueden llamarme Teacher Kike, pueden llamarme Kike, pueden llamarme eh, Mr. Morales, it's all right, okay? Cuando ustedes participen, no sé si ustedes se conocen todos, ya se conocen todos, no, pero cuando participen me gustaría que dijeran su nombre, que digan cómo les gustaría que les llamaran en el grupo y de tal manera que nos empecemos a conocer, ¿verdad? Que nos empecemos a conocer y que saquemos provecho de este curso al máximo, ¿ok? Las clases seguramente pues van a ser... Eh, 90% en inglés y quizás por ahí un, unos cortos periodos de tiempo en español, pero sabemos que eh, lo más importante es estar um, en un ambiente donde sea full English, ok, eso es lo ideal, así que vamos a tratar de hacerlo de esa manera. ¿Les parece? Yes, 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 yes. está bien. Yes, All right. yes, sir. Ok. Yes. Okay, that's fantastic. So let's get down to business. All right. Hello, Ricardo. Um, yo, como se dice, en el curso de preintermedio, lo agarré hace como casi, casi como dos meses y medio que tengo de no. Y lo que pasa es que no me alcancé a, como se dice, a inscribir cabalito cuando se acabaron los cupos. Entonces, técnicamente, ahí voy a ir refrescando, intentando refrescar la memoria ahí. It's all right, it's all right, don't worry, eso está perfecto. Lo, lo más importante, les voy a decir, no sé cuánto tiempo Dios me va a permitir estar con ustedes, espero que sea por mucho tiempo, pero si no es así, les voy a dar un consejo desde ya, nunca se den por vencido. Y se los voy a escribir en el chat. Miren cómo se dice nunca te des por vencido. Yo creo que ustedes ya lo saben. Pero. Ahí está. Never give up. All right. Never give up. Si usted nunca se da por vencido. Tarde o temprano usted va a lograr su objetivo. Ok. Eso me lo ha enseñado mi experiencia como docente y mi experiencia como estudiante también. ¿Ok? Nunca darse por vencido es la clave. ¿Qué me va a costar? Ok, posiblemente sí. A algunos les va a costar más. A otros les va a costar, pues, un poquito menos. Pero lo importante es llegar a la meta. ¿Ok? Que es aprender un segundo idioma. Vamos a iniciar con la clase. Vamos a tratar de avanzar lo, en la medida que sea posible y, pues, empezar a generar contenido y empezar a generar eh, sus, su reacción respecto a la clase, ¿ok? Su participación es sumamente importante. Ok, so let us start. I will share some info. All right, that's quite good. 
and that you have to see. Uh, you know, I, I wonder if you are the kind of people or the type of people who like to do exercise. Do you like to do exercise? Yeah. Do you like to, 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 to do exercise? So, so. So, so. Do you like to play soccer? I like it. Ah, uh, you like it. All right. Do you like to swim? I like to swim. Ah, uh, you like to swim. All right. Uh, another question. Uh, talking about food, do you like uh, vegetables? I don't like. I prefer pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we are Salvadorian people, right? And we love pupusa. I think everybody loves pupusa over here, right? That's fantastic. Um, yeah. uh, well, you know what? We're going to talk about um, exercising, about eating healthy or unhealthy food. You know, we have a lot of information on here. And uh, something that I want you to notice over here is that you have, uh, we're gonna see the, the, the objectives, right? This is quite important for me that you can see the information about what you're going to learn every single night, okay? For example, in this lesson, you participants will listen to a conversation about how often do you do an activity? How often? How often it may be every, every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, okay, every day, only on Tuesday, uh, sometimes, etc. Right? So, and we're gonna start like seeing this information. I have a video, okay, and I will share it with you. We're gonna practice the conversation, okay, and then we are going to see what's going on with the exercises that are presented over here. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, you yes, are. Yes. All right, very good. Now, let us try. Now, you see. I will play the track. Okay, let us play the, the, the video, know, sorry. Now in section six. And let us listen oh, carefully about it. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Pay attention to the question, how often, and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. All right. So let me see. I will try to, I will try to see what's going on with the conversation. Uh, let me see, and let, let us get some vocabulary from, from over here. Okay, let me see. I'm trying to get the conversation once again. Uh, let me see. I hardly ever exercise. Okay, now I will stop it over You're here. You're really fit, Paul. Do you I will pause it, and we're going to see it, right? So the conversation is about two people. They are talking, right? But what are they talking about? What are they talking about? About doing exercise. Ah, that's right. They are talking about uh, doing exercises, uh, doing exercise, right? Uh, having some activity. And the first part we have, uh, I don't know. Can somebody help me to read the first part? I want to read this. Oh, all right, do me the favor, please. Mary? Yeah, that's right. No problem. Okay. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Wow, really nice conversation. Who who is the one that's participating? Nelson? Uh, mention alguien más? Yeah, please. Hey Nelson, Congress, you're you're you have a really nice pronunciation. Okay, Good. Nelson. Okay. Uh, so, so, sorry, teacher. Okay. No, 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 no comprendí. Menciono alguien más para hacer la conversación o Please, ¿cómo? please, please. Ah, okay. Lo siento, compañeros, pero voy a delatar a alguien. <laughs> Cristian Molina. Okay, Mr. Molina, here we go. Uh, sorry, uh, tell me. 
Or, uh, the uh, second part, you, you're going to, I okay. want you to read the second part. I mean. Thanks. Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weight for an hour. Uh, fantastic. Excellent, Mr. Molina. Can you mention somebody else, Christian? Excuse me? Uh, can you name someone else, another participant, to continue? Uh, uh, okay. Um, Gisela Emperatriz Cañas Bonilla. Uh, okay, Miss Bonilla. Good evening. Seriously, right? So that's it. Very good. Now, uh, Miss Bonilla, can you mention someone else? No, I mean, another person. Can you ask some, someone else to read the info? I don't know, maybe <laughs> Moises, Nelson, Oscar, I don't know. You name it. Name him or her. Yeah, that's right. Um, Disculpen. <laughs> That's all right, Gisela. You're doing good. Uh, Marco Antonio. Okay, Marco Antonio. Yes. Okay, can you read the next part? Okay, Paul. Yeah. Just, okay. Well, I almost always get up early and I leave weights for an hour. Uh, oh, all right. So, uh, Marco, do me the favor to read this part, this. Oh, sorry, sorry. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Uh oh, wait a minute. Is it sure? And then I I often go in like skating. Good. Now, Marco, can you mention or uh, can you ask somebody else to help you? Uh, yes. Sorry, guys. Uh, Dennis Miranda. <laughs> okay, Dennis, go ahead. Wow, it's Marianne, my, yes, Marianne or Paul? Uh, Mary, Mary, this part. Okay, wow, how often do you exercise like that? Good, pretty good, Dennis, Dennis, can you ask somebody else to help, help us in the class? Okay, um, David Aquino. Okay, Mr. Aquino, here we go. Okay, about five times a week. What about you? Really nice. Okay, Mr. Aquino, uh, ask somebody else to help us. Okay, uh, Maria Elena. Sorry, Maria Elena. <laughs> okay, Mary. Yes. All right, Maria, <laughs> here you go. It's oh. the longest part, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just. I usually just. I usually just. Yes. All right, watch TV in my free time. Sorry, watch TV in my free time. I I was I yes. I real coach potato. Uh, all right, that's really nice. Now, you see, as you can see over here, we have some expressions such as, I almost always get up early. So these are expressions that we have to learn. And also, I often, okay, you can say often or often. And you have expressions such as, I usually, okay, etc. And these expressions are used to talk about how frequently do you practice a, an activity or you practice a sport, all right? Uh, let me see. Uh, we're going to have... Do you exercise a lot? Well, we're I almost always part. get up early and I Here lift go. weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. 
All right, In let's see. In the next session, I will teach you algorithms of frequency so you can respond to how often you do a particular activity. Okay, so we saw that that information. Okay, and let me see. And let us let us see what's going on with the next part. Um, no, I don't, I, I don't want you to see this one, but I want you to see this part. You see, there is a part over here that's um, uh, a discussion, a part, okay, where you can um, type, uh, for example, the activities that you do uh, every day. Pueden escribir acá las actividades que ustedes hacen, okay. Eh, a diario o cuán frecuentemente ustedes eh, desarrollan una actividad. Uh, we're going to see um, another part. Okay, that's... Sure. Um, tell me. Uh, uh, can you show us an example about... <laughs> que si nos puede dar un ejemplo del anterior, teacher. <laughs> uh, sure, <laughs> why not? I mean, uh, in the chat, I, I will type something in the chat there. And as you can see, for example, I usually, I usually get no, up. No, me refería a que en la parte donde dice que tenemos que escribir, eh, al menos yo eh, nunca lo he escrito. Entonces, ¿cómo podría? Eh, quizás por oh, miedo a no saber usarlo. La parte de abajo. Uh, this part? Exacto. Ahí, cabal. Okay, now, uh, in, in this part, as you can see, you can add a... Uh, the, your, your work by clicking over here, right? So then you start and you type uh, here, I usually uh, get up, get up early. Okay. And do you, you yeah. send it, and then you submit it, right? Mm. And then you submit it. I usually get up early and that's it. It's over here, right? And the period is, you know, it's over here. And then you get it. It's all right. Sorry? Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, over here, you can type like activities, Acti activities. And that's it, right? No, yes, I think it's possible. And then wow. it appears there, right? Okay. Thank you, Dishi. All right. Okay, so let's move on. Let us try to continue. Okay, this is the, just the first part just for you to get familiarized with the topic, okay? Because, you know, we have a lot of information and we're gonna go over the next part. In the second uh, objective, well, you, the first part was for you to get familiarized with the topic, okay? Now, second objective is that by the end of this lesson, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. I, I usually, I um, hardly ever, I never, I always, etc. We're gonna see the following information and you just try to keep it into your mind. If you want to take notes, you can take notes. If you consider that um, the time in the class was not enough, so then you can see the video once again or as many times as you wish and, and, and start practicing by your own. Look, this is the, this is the grammar focus. Here we go. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes. I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Always. Almost always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Almost never. Never. All right, stop there because we we have to 
we have to make some review or to have some review about it. Now you see the ground focus is above adverse of frequency, right? And a one question would be, hey, how often do you exercise? How often do you exercise? Uh, two times in the week, three times, four times, how often? Well, there are some expressions such as every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? So every day, once a week, only one day during the week. It may be on Monday, it may be on Sunday, but it's only once, once a week. Twice a week, two times, okay? Uh, this person plays soccer twice a month, okay? Swimming is like three times a year, three times a year. Often, much, uh, you have, you have que another question over here. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed and I hardly ever watch TV. Or if you, if you don't do so, then you say, no, I never watch TV. So you have like two, two options in here, right? How often do you exercise is one question. Do you ever watch TV in the evening is another uh, example of a question. So we have every day. So if you want to repeat there, you can do it every day. I lift weights every day. Now, who, who lifts weights in, in the class? Do you lift weights, Nelson? Uh, sorry to share. Do, do you lift weights? Do you go to the gym? Uh, no. No, you uh, don't. I, I hardly, hardly ever. You hardly ever go to the gym? Go to the gym. Uh, you don't lift weights? <laughs> no. No, the you can you can show your muscles over here, right? So <laughs> I, I wonder if Marco, Marco, do you go to the gym, Marco? No. <laughs> How often do you go to the gym? Zero. Never. So you never, never. go. What about never. David? Okay, it's really good. David, how often do you go to the gym? No, 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 no. No, and you know what? You are no. going to show your muscles today, okay? Ya van a enseñar su... A ver quién va al gimnasio y a ver quién no va al gimnasio, all right? Let me see. Gisela, do, do, do you exercise, Gisela? No. No, you, you, you don't go to the gym either. What about Juan? Juan Antonio, do you go to the gym? Uh, no, go to the Okay, now you see, as you can see over here, there are no, not at all. I don't go. Uh, you don't go. All right. So, but if you go, for example, if you say I go to the gym every day, yo levanto pesas todos los días. All right, every day, once a month. Okay. Now, if you have Google Translator, it will be really nice. Si ustedes tienen, por ejemplo, un traductor o tienen este otra herramienta a la mano. Estaría genial para que yo no me esté pasando al español, ¿verdad? Y así automáticamente, si alguien tiene preguntas, si él tiene, digamos, alguna duda con vocabulario, pues ahí tiene, digamos, a la mano un celular con una aplicación o con, con, a, algún, con Google Translator, for example. Entonces, once a week, sometimes, twice a week, three times a year, often in March. And we have... Uh, uh, do you ever watch TV in the evening? Um, yes, I often. Okay, I sometimes. Or uh, you see, you can start. Uh, you can start the sentence by using sometimes at the beginning, right? And I hardly ever no, or I never watch TV. Now, tell me something that you always do. Díganme algo que ustedes siempre hacen. Always. Van a usar mm -hmm. always. Y algo que es todo lo opuesto que nunca hacen. Ok. Nunca. Ok. Think about it. Por ejemplo. Uh, Ada. Ada, are you there? Uh, uh, David, you wanted to participate. David. Ok, ok. Ok. Always. Um, ah. I always read the book every every morning, oh. but 
never never going going at the gym you never go to the gym okay <laughs> to the gym, sorry <laughs> no don't worry it's all right so if you don't like to okay, do it okay. it's okay hey but okay. remember listen listen uh david provided an excellent example but do not forget david to include the subject okay i go i i go i play i swim i don't okay. exercise remember to include the subject if you are okay, using okay. you he or she it's all right if you say uh dennis never goes to the gym okay but you need to include the subject Okay, okay, thank you. Oh, okay, very good. Now, what about if I ask Marco Antonio? Tell me something you always do and something you never do. Well, I never go to the gym and see, I always watch videos on YouTube. Oh, uh, you all, all the time. I mean, every single night you watch videos in YouTube. Yes. Wow, that's really good. English videos, right? Yes. Right. Oops, that's fantastic. Congratulations. I know that you are just interested in learning English. What about, uh, let me see. I will, I will, I will use my, my list of tenants over here. What about Christian? Christian, what can you tell us? Is Christian here? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Christian, Christian, what can you tell us? Tell me something you always do and tell me something you never do. Uh, I never watch on TV. ¿Cómo se dice telenovelas en inglés? The Popperas? So Popperas. Never. You never watch the Popperas, all right. And tell me yeah. something you always do. But I, I always um, I watch on, on weekends uh, anime, anime series. All right. I like that's the really... Japanese anime. Japanese anime. That's, that's, that's really good. Okay. Let's see. Let us move on. Let us try to see what's coming soon. Vamos a tratar de adelantar un poquito, okay? Let's see. Let's let's continue seeing the video. Vamos a ver qué más nos dice el video, okay? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. All right. It's not yet. Hardly ever. Almost never. Never. I okay. think it would help to know the position of the adverbs of frequency in a sentence. Subject plus adverb of frequency, plus verb, plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. All right. So you have the structure over here. Uh, as you can see, David, we all the time we need to have a subject, right? And let me see. Some of you are going to help me to read these sentences. Uh, Juan Antonio. Hello, Juan Antonio. Hello. Hello. Can you please help me to read the first sentence? He never plays baseball. All right. He never plays baseball. Uh, can you say once again, Juan? We always... Uh, no, the, the, I mean the same, the same, please. He never plays baseball. Uh, all right. Uh, I, I don't know, but uh, let me try to teach you something over here. Maybe you are just pronouncing this. Uh, never plays baseball. Oh, that's better. Oh, that is better, right? He never plays baseball. Plays. It's quite important for you to pronounce this. Okay, let's see. That's fantastic. Really nice pronunciation, Juan. Uh, what about Moses? Is Moses over here? Yes, Hello? Sure. Oh, Okay, Moses. Nice to meet you, Moses. Moses, can you read this sentence, please? Uh, we always go for a run. We always go for a run. Pretty good. That's, that was really nice. What about uh, Rebecca? Is Rebecca here? 
Yes, teacher. Hello, Rebecca. Uh, it's really nice to meet you. Can you, can you nice please help you. us? All right. Can yes. you please read this, this part? You hardly ever swim. Uh, you hardly ever swim. All right. Very good. Let's see what's going on with the next part. Now, you are just getting familiarized with it, right? So you, you know that you have a subject, then you have the, a, an adverb of frequency, then you have a verb, and then you have a, a complement, okay? Subject, adverb of frequency, a verb, and a complement, all right? And let's see, let's move on with the next part. Notice the position of the adverbs, never, always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes it's a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest, or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. Okay, as you can see uh, with, the, with the frequency advert, sometimes you can, you can uh, write it down in different positions. In the first one, I sometimes go to a dance class. In the second one, in the second sentence, you can see that sometimes, uh, I mean, the sentence starts with the frequency adverb. And they say, sometimes I go to a dance class. And in the last one, I go to a dance class sometimes. And the three of them are okay. Okay, so that's a special case. How about you? How often do you exercise? How often do you do any sports activity? All right, now, uh, we're going to practice a little with those two questions. Uh, how often do you exercise? How often do you exercise? I mean, anybody can, can participate. How often do you exercise? How often do you exercise? I exercise three times a week. All right. So what do you do, Moses? Do you swim? Do you run? Do you walk? Play soccer. I think you play soccer. So you're a soccer player. That's fantastic. Very good. Now, is there anybody else who wants to participate? Moses did it. How often do you exercise? I hardly ever exercise. Uh, Nelson, you hardly ever exercise. Okay, good to know. Uh, okay, somebody else? Me. Okay, okay. Uh, Mary, Maria? I never work in the morning. Uh, you never work in the morning. So you do it yes. in, in, the, in the afternoon. I always work in the afternoon and at night. And at night, all right, in the evening, right? Pretty good. Okay, somebody else? Is there anybody I else? Always, I always wake up early and I go to the gym in the morning. I never read a long books. I prefer a short histories or mangas at any night or any anyway. Fantastic. Hey, that was awesome. Okay, now listen carefully because we're gonna try to move on. Hey, whenever I open uh, the time for you to participate, do it, right? Don't hesitate. No lo piensen mucho. Si tienen eh, el deseo de participar, háganlo. Porque este espacio es para que ustedes eh, aprendan, que practiquen y que acertemos y que algunas veces nos equivoquemos. Okay, eso está bien. Todo está perfecto siempre y cuando sea para que eh, aprendamos, ¿verdad? Eh, veamos. Ahora, pues acá hay una parte donde ustedes pues van a colocar eh, las actividades que ustedes desarrollan, ¿verdad? Este, a menudo, si a menudo, si son todos los días, si no, si casi no lo practican, pues ahí por lo menos colóquenos algunos comentarios de las actividades que ustedes hacen. Eh, I will try to move on. Vamos a, a tratar de seguir. Ok. Y vamos con otra parte acá. Let's see. Vamos con un ejercicio. Vamos con un ejercicio. Vamos a, 
tratar de resolver este ejercicio. Uh, now I check, check, sorry, instructions. Read the following prompts. Choose the, the response in which the adverb in brackets is placed correctly. Okay, now you have the information right there. You have the instructions in English and Spanish, right? So you know what to do. And the first one, we have uh, we have sentence and we have the, the frequency adverb uh, ever, right? And you have three options. Do you play sports? And you have ever. What is the best option? Do you ever play sports? Ever you play sports? Or do you play sports ever? Do you play sports ever? Sports ever. Are you sure? Are you sure? No, no, no. El primero. Oh, this is the first one. Uh, do you ever play sports? Do you okay. ever play sports? Okay, we're going to check it at the end. Don't worry. Ya lo vamos a, a revisar. Sure, I'll play soccer twice a week. And look, sure, I twice a week play soccer. Twice a week, sure, I play soccer. Or sure, I play soccer twice a week. Sure, I play soccer twice a week. So is yeah, the, number three. It, number three. Number three. Number three. Yeah. number three, all right. So I think everybody agrees that's number three. Now, okay, does this sentence or is the exercise number three? What do you do on Saturday morning? And you have the word or the frequency advert usually. What do you usually do on Saturday morning? What do you do on Saturday usually morning? Or what usually do you do on Saturday morning? Sorry. Number three. Number three. Number uh, are you sure? Usually. Uh, Number three, number one, number, okay. one, sure. number one, or number three, or number two. Number one, number one. Number what one. do you usually number one. do? What do you usually do on Saturday morning? Okay, so let's see if it is number one. And number four, nothing much. I sleep until noon, almost always. And you have three options. Nothing much, I sleep until noon, almost always. Nothing much, I almost always sleep until noon. In nothing much, I sleep until almost always noon. Nothing much, almost, I almost always sleep until noon. So it's the, the second, second one. one. Yeah. The second one. Oh, all right, so it's the second one. Okay, and the number five, do you do aerobics in the gym often? Often do you do aerobics? Do you often do aerobics or do often you do aerobics? Number, Number two. two. Number, Number two. Do you often do aerobics at the gym? Uh, all right. So it's, uh, everybody agrees it's the second one. And the number six. No, I do aerobics hardly ever. I do hardly ever uh, aerobics. No, hardly ever. Uh, I do aerobics or no, I hardly ever do aerobics. Number three. It's the last one. Oh, it's the last one. Number three. Oh, we're almost done. This is number seven. And I think we have only 10. So you see, we're almost done. Do you exercise on Sundays? And you have always. Do you always exercise on Sundays? Do you exercise on Sundays always? Or always do you exercise on Sundays? The first one. The second one. The second one? Yes. The third one. Do you exercise on Sundays? It's the first you one. always exercise on Sundays? Number one. Oh, it says number, number one. one. Number one. Number one. Okay, let's see. Yeah, number one, number one. Number one seems to be the correct one. Number eight. No, I exercise on Sundays. And you have never, right? And you have the three options there. No, I exercise on Sundays. No, I never exercise on Sundays. No, I exercise never on Sundays. Number two. Number two. Number two. The second. It's the second one. Good. The second one. Number nine. What do you do after class? You have usually. What do you usually do after class? What do you do after class usually? Or what do you usually you do after class? 
Number, number three. The number second number one. one. Well, well yeah. take it easy because some people say number one, some others say number two, and some others say number three. Let us get into an agreement, okay? For me, second one. What do second, you okay. Second uh, one. So David number says me, second one. Number one. Oh, some people say number one, some other people say number two. And but what about it? What about if the three of them are okay? Do you think the three of them are okay? Number two. No, okay, one. so let us choose the one. one. Okay, second so one. people say the second one. Then second we're going to see what's one. going on there. What do you do after class usually? Okay, well, uh, is, is that the third one? Sure. Number three. Oh. <laughs> so we're not gonna get into an agreement if we continue that First way. One. So it's okay. We're gonna choose only one. Ya van a ver. Si nos equivocamos, no tiene nada de malo. Solo lo único que va a suceder es que vamos a aprender. Okay. Aún cuando nos equivocamos, le vamos a sacar provecho. Hey, I go out with my classmates about three times a week. About I about three times a week go out with my classmates. About three times a week, I go out with my classmates. I go out with my classmate about three times a week. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Yeah. Okay. Now, now you see, I will send it. Uh, I, 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 we're going to check, right? We're going to see the answer. And you see in the first one. Wow, you almost got it. I think you got a 10. Let me see. One point, the first one. Hey, hey, can, you, can somebody read? Yo voy a ir mostrándolo y alguien vaya leyéndolo, porfa. La respuesta Do correcta. you ever play soccer? Excellent. Do you, do you ever play sports? Good. The next one? Sure. I sure. Play soccer play twice, twice a week. Good. Like, okay. yeah. Next one. What do you what usually do you? on Saturday, Monday? Good. The next one, number four. Nothing much. I almost always sleep until noon. Good. Number five. Do you, do you open the aerobics at the gym? Do you open the do you open the aerobics at the gym? Good. Number six. Oh, I hardly ever do that. All right. Number seven. Do you always, Do you always exercise, exercise on, on Sunday? Sunday? Number eight. No, oh. I never exercise on Sunday. I never exercise on Sunday. Number nine. Wow, hey, we committed a mistake over here. Ya vieron, nos equivocamos en la nueve. Okay, mire, oh. what do you usually do after class? That was the correct oh. one. Can, can, somebody, can you, somebody help me to read this one? ¿Quién me ayuda a leer esa? What, what do you usually do, do, do after class? Fantastic. What do you usually do after class? And the number 10? I go, I go out, out with, with my class, class, with about my class. class a week. Wow, you are awesome. Me sorprenden. Son geniales. Son geniales. Este, miren, chicos. Eh, voy a pasar la lista. Okay. Y este, ustedes me dicen, um, I'm here, present teacher, hello. Uh, de modo que quede registrado que ustedes estuvieron en la sesión. Recuérdense que para nosotros es sumamente importante que ustedes estén acá. Lo ideal es que un 100% de las clases, ¿verdad? Porque recuérdense que solo son 60 minutos diarios y necesitamos sacarle provecho a, a ese tiempo. Mientras más practiquemos, más avanzaremos en el idioma. Y no se queden, les recomiendo que no se queden solo con la sesión, eh, sino que ustedes investiguen por su propia cuenta también. Hay más Frequency Adverse, hay más ejercicio, hay más este, uh, uh, vocabulary, hay mucho más que aprender. Entonces, no se queden solo con eso acá. Si ustedes quieren aprender más, háganlo también por su propia cuenta y eh, inviertan un poco de tiempo en reforzar lo que acabemos. De hecho, pues ustedes tienen acceso a la plataforma y pueden ver los videos cuantas veces quieran y cuantas veces consideren necesario estarlo practicando. Ok, bueno, voy a pasar lista. Eh, Ada Agar. Ok, Cristian Salatiel. Present teacher. Claudia Lisset. Present teacher. 
David Roberto. Here. Denis Francisco. I'm here, teacher. All right, Esmeralda Isabel. Is Esmeralda in the class? No, Esmeralda, Esmeralda, no. no. Esmeralda, well, I don't see Esmeralda here. So Esmeralda is absent. Esmeralda absent. All right. They have Gisela Emperatriz. Present. Okay, Gisela. Juan Antonio. Present. Okay, Juan Antonio. Marco Antonio. Present. Okay, Marco. Maria Elena. Here, teacher. Okay, Maria Elena. Uh, Moses Antonio. Here, teacher. All right. Nelson uh, Rodimiro. I'm here, teacher. All right, Nelson. Oscar, uh, Oscar Antonio Ramos. Okay, Oscar. Uh, Rebecca, I don't know, Janelle. Janelle. Uh, I'm here. Okay. Hey, your name is really nice. Thank you. If, Please call uh, me that. Uh, Janelle. Okay, yeah. Janelle. Okay, I will try to remember. Okay, Janelle. And uh, Ricardo Fabricio. I'm here. Okay, Ricardo. Uh, Sonia Rebecca. No, Sonia is, Sonia is not over here, right? Sonia Rebecca. Uh, Stephanie Michel. Stephanie Michel is absent also. Victor Alfredo. Present teacher. Hello. All right. And uh, Xiomara Elizabeth. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Jocelyn Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. That's fantastic. Uh, you know, it's been a pleasure. Ha sido un placer y... Este, les animo, eh, jovencitos, jovencitas y señoritas, eh, creo que hay personas también que ya están casados eh, y casadas, pues les animo a que se pongan a trabajar en la, en la plataforma, porque este, eso les, les va a ayudar a que se familiaricen con los temas que, que se vienen. Y eso también va a ayudar a que las clases sean más fluidas y que adelantemos con más eh, rapidez y con más efectividad. Les animo también a que practiquen el idioma, en, en, si es posible en todo momento, en sus lugares de trabajo donde ustedes estudian, porque lo único que nos va a permitir avanzar este, en nuestro aprendizaje es justamente la práctica. ¿verdad? Mientras más practiquemos, más vamos a eh, sentirnos cómodos con el idioma. ¿Les parece? No sé si hay alguna pregunta, alguna, algo que quieran comentar. No, teacher, solo quisiera mencionar. No questions. De que es bien chivo que hable solo inglés. <risa> Así uno se familiariza más. Así que gracias. Ok. Teacher, sí. teacher. David, digan. Eh, yo vine tarde, sorry. Entonces no sé su nombre, teacher. Ok, mi nombre es Enrique Ernesto Morales. Ustedes me Kike. pueden llamar Teacher Quique, no hay problema. Me pueden llamar Quique, no hay problema. Me pueden llamar Mr. Morales, está bien. Okay. Y lo más importante es que siempre guardemos un, un espacio, un ambiente, tengamos un ambiente de respeto y que nos apoyemos unos con otros. Okay. Si a alguien le está costando algo, hay que apoyarlo porque debemos tratar de que todos caminemos a un, ¿cómo les digo? Si no, si no a un mismo ritmo, pero por lo menos que vayamos caminando un, en una misma dirección, ¿verdad? Ok, está bien. Ok, ¿alguien más quiere participar?
¿Nadie más va a participar? ¿Va a decir algo? Yo, teacher, yo, yo solo quería recargarle ahí de que, de que pues sí, eh, voy a intentar familiarizarme otra vez con el inglés que lo había dejado un poco abandonado, ¿verdad? Pero todo este tiempo lo voy a enfocar a, otra vez a ir agarrando la práctica. Porque Excelente. igual también estoy estudiando un poco de francés también ahí, entonces... Excelente, sí, también les animo a que pues practiquen otro idioma, que realmente entre más aprendan ustedes, pues es mucho que mejor, ¿verdad? Este, estoy muy agradecido con ustedes y me siento contento de tenerlos acá, porque veo que son un grupo, pues, muy activo, que están participando y lo que dice Ricardo pues está muy bien alguien pueda, pueda este, que se sienta un poquito a, que le está costando algo pero como les decía yo al inicio lo más importante es que no se rindan never give up All right? me despido con eso y les deseo una feliz noche nos vemos mañana a la misma hora y espero Bye, que bien, pues descansen Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.